Okay guys, so I'm gonna install all my Rough Country seat covers for the rear and the front portion of my truck. So I also have the fold down seat, so my kit does come with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this all installed. I have my box right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the back as stated. Here is the seat cover for the rear. So it doesn't have any logos or brands on the back, but uh, let's go ahead and remove these headrests. That way we can gain access uh, to this whole uh, backing. That way we can get, get this on there. I don't, I'm gonna try not to rip apart the seat, you know, breaking it apart, taking it out, nothing like that. And then uh, I'll get started on the bottom one. And then I have the bottom cover here as well as the headrest so I have I have everything I just gotta decipher everything see which one goes on first so give me one second and by the way you will need a pick uh, I get these from Harbor Freight so they're extremely inexpensive and they fit perfectly fine on the Silverado uh, holes here so you can take out the headrest you'll have to do this on all the headrests driver passenger and rears now as you can tell these headrests come out pretty darn high, so you'll have to lift up your seat. Uh, there's the little handle right here. You pull down with the seat, you push down, and then you pull up. All I'm doing here is unfolding the rear portion of the seat cover, which is going to overlap the back side. Now, what you see me doing is reaching underneath the seat towards the back side, pulling it down, and then from the front side. So I'm slipping my arm up all the way up through the top and then sleeving it down, pushing it down. Sorry I couldn't give you a better view, a little bit more higher up, but the sun was glaring, it was summer, it was 115 degrees here in Arizona. So I had the truck on, AC on, trying to keep myself hydrated for sure. But all I was doing was maneuvering, shimmying down that seat cover from the front side and then reaching underneath and pulling, tugging down towards the floor. Now, as for the bottom seat cover, it's a little bit easier just because you just have a little bit more access. Don't forget to put your straps, which is very important. That way they don't start sleeving up or when people sit back there. But you'll, you'll see. It's, it's a very difficult uh, job to do. Not that easy. I thought it was going to be easy, but the only easy part was actually the, the floor right here, what you're seeing me doing right now, because I was able to fold the seat up and down, and I was able to gain access to it, and then the front seats were a lot more easier as well. But there you have it. I went on ahead and started doing the front. I shot it through. The one with the hole on this side is for this little knob. Very easy to do, so we're just gonna shoot it through, shoot it through. You're gonna make the seat forward, like so. So you can shoot these cords on through, like so. All right, and then on the front, we have these straps, okay? So we have these straps on the front. We're gonna shoot those all the way in the back, okay? So we're gonna catch them through here. Let's go ahead and take care of that. All right guys, so we shot that through, got it through the inside of the bar, and then I just did a little, a little tie around there. But I shot it through the bottom. So we got the, we got the bottom installed. All right, just gonna, I got this kind of loose right now, because I still got to do the, the center console. So these, uh, there's these little bungee straps right here try to pull this this goes on the this goes through the bottom as well it's gonna shoot through the bottom this bungee and then this bungee they're gonna they're gonna hook up with each other so or they hook up into a latch in here okay so you can hook them together like meet in the middle you can pull them far enough that's how I have them on Project Muerto or you can latch them onto a piece of metal but as long as there's tension on, on this to keep it down but I got to do the center console next all right guys, so last thing we need to do is install the back side. So we got the seat covers in, just the bottom ones, and then the center console. Uh, so just the bottom ones here. Come on, focus. Focus, all right. So we got driver, center console, passenger, and I gotta pop these off. Both headrests again, you'll need some pins, and pop these suckers out, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the backings now. These ones are labeled with the RC, so let's get to it. We have 
both driver and passenger side installed now. We're gonna go ahead and jump over to the headrest here with this vehicle. All right guys, there it is. Driver side fully installed. Center console with the top rag, headrest, everything good to go. All right guys, please be sure to like and subscribe. Peace.